Let's talk about the how to interpret the force convergence plot. I have the force convergence plot here alongside a slide from the pre-analysis. And let me annotate this to explain what's happening. OK, you, you start off with your initial guess, and you update that initial guess. Um, and if I take that, OK, if I take that value and I plug it into my equation, so in this case it would be if I plug this, my new value in here, OK, it won't be equal to 0. It'll be equal to some value delta f which is is an error so that's going to be you know that's going to be delta f in this case and that is that is a force imbalance now here in this problem we have around 80000 degrees of freedom so we have 80000 values of delta f and ansys will give you an aggregate of those you know it'll add up all those and that's that value here okay that's an aggregate imbalance and it'll compare it to a tolerance. So you can never make delta F zero, but you can try to make it below some tolerance, and it'll pick that as some fraction of the load. Okay, in this case, it would be, say, point, it's 1% of F. Um, and again, so it look at the aggregate load on the uh, model and come up with that tolerance. So it says, okay, you know, that imbalance is, uh, is much larger than the tolerance, so I need to update my guess and, and um, you know, resolve. And so that's a stiffness matrix inversion, and it gets a new um, solution. So that would be going to, you know, going along here and getting the new guess. So getting the new guess would involve a stiffness matrix inversion. In this case, it seems like the new, you know, the new value is below the tolerance, gives you a delta F below the tolerance, but here that's not the case. And it has to do that five uh, times, five iterations, and for five iterations, you know, it's doing the Newton graphs on five times, and the imbalance has fallen below the tolerance and says, you know, the first load step has converged. So at this point, I have a reasonably good solution to the set of nonlinear algebraic equations that I get for the first load steps. And so I have a good solution to what the deformations are and the stresses are when I tighten the, the, the bolt, uh, tighten the nut to you know, whatever uh, preload I've given it. Then I apply the pressure, and so F has changed. And that solution is no, no longer good. And so you can see that, you know, the, the imbalance has jumped. It's also increased the, the tolerance. It says, hey, you know, you have more loads, so perhaps you can, you know, I, I can increase the, the tolerance. Um, you can, you know, live with, with a higher force imbalance. And then after five iterations, that imbalance has fallen below the tolerance. And here, then, I have a solution to the um, to the the bolt preload as well as the pressure and the, the regenerated channel um, forces, and then you have the third load step. And here it looks like you know it's converged. Um, and I was wondering why this is. And then I went and looked at the displacement convergence here. You can change the displacement convergence, and I realized oh, when I put on the thermal strain, the displacements change so much. That is, this changed so much that it said, hey, you know, that it, that's probably, that might be an iterative, con uh, that's probably an, um, a linearization problem, and so I need to iterate once more. Um, so this is an effect of the, the thermal, you know, having like a large thermal strain. In fact, the solution here turns out to be good enough. But it will do one more iteration, and then you have the solution, you know, that you get when you apply the thermal strain. And here, one last thing I want to note is that you, you know, it applies. So here it says this is one, if you look carefully, and you can expand this. Um, and this is two, and this is three. This is like a pseudo time. What this means is that the, the, 
the full bolt preload is applied at one go. So you apply the full bolt preload all at once. In reality, you know, in more complicated problems, if you do that, it won't converge. So you'll have to apply a fraction of that load um, as a sub-step. So what you'll do is you will, you will you know, divide your load step into sub-steps and then apply the load a little bit incrementally, converge, and then incrementally, and so on. You can think of it as, you know, applying this F in, in little increments. Okay, so it's very important to know how to interpret that the force convergence and displacement convergence for nonlinear problems. So at this stage, we have a good enough solution to our set of nonlinear algebraic equations, and let's move on to post-processing.